good afternoon. The public meeting of the City of Tallahassee Independent Ethics Board is now called to order on this day, Tuesday, May 16th, 2023, at 4 p.m. The board members are present here at the City Hall along with members of the public. With the assistance of the Communications Department and the Information Technology Department, this meeting is live streamed on the Ethics Board's website. We'll be recording it for future reference. There is a delay with online communications. We should be all be patient. As always, we thank those members of the City of Tallahassee for their support. For those attending the meeting online, please make sure your microphone is muted. Last week, we asked the public to make a request by email to ethics at talgov.com by 1 p.m. on the day of the meeting if they wish to speak online on agenda or non-agenda items. Those who have submitted their names will be given a chance to speak as scheduled. For those who wish to make a public comment, please complete a speaker request form and forward it to the Administrative Specialist, Ms. Tasker Leverson Green. <laughs> Speakers will be given three minutes in accordance with the board's bylaws. At this time, please rise for Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Esther, please call roll. Carlos Ray. Present. Houston Costa. Ernie Payne. Here. Patrick Kelly. Here. Rico Calhoun. Here. Adam Commissar. Here. Chair of form has been um, formed. I mean, a quorum, I'm okay. sorry. So it's reached. Sounds good. Thank you, Ms. Tesker. Uh, at this time, has everyone received the agenda of supporting documents and had a chance to read them? Yes. Yes. Has everyone reviewed the opportunity to review the minutes for April 18th, 2023? Yes. yes. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. There a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Motion passes. At this time, we will. Give an opportunity for public comment on agenda and non agenda items. Do we have any public speaker cards? No. No. Okay. Just audience today. Sounds good. Moving on to the ethics office report. Mr. Floyd. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, very briefly, as provided in your material, um, we focus primarily on the annual ethics training. Um, we're working day and night to get that done. We are, uh, we met with human resources to discuss that training. Uh, we did the regularly, tr regular training for new employees and other administrative duties, responded to ethics complaint and um, prepared for this meeting. Um, you have the budget, I don't think there's anything in particular. The most important thing is that the bottom line is that we still have available 206,000 out of 19. So we're doing a good job of managing the budget. Now, uh, fiscal is July 1st, October 1st. No, no, no. It ends September 30th. September 30th. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So we have opportunity to spend most of that. And then there are no, uh, there were no, uh, no complaints since the last meeting. Okay. Is there any agenda item that have anything have been accepted by the board at this time? No. no. Okay. And then, did that cover the general update or you have more? Yes. Okay. General update. Uh, I have contacted FSU to, I will try to get them to get that the final position filled by the next meeting. Uh, I don't know if they were waiting on their new ethics and compliance officer, but I'm talking with their office um, now to see if we can get that filled. With regard to whistleblower protection and, and making a presentation to the city commission, I spoke in person with the city manager and he gave me a possible date of June 14th, which is the next time the commission meets. So I'm gonna try to make that happen. Um, we have new furniture in our office. 
And I'll be honest, it feels good. It's a whole different feeling walking into the office because we just look professional. And um, so that's worked out really well. Um, we're still trying to get lights uh, for the um, public speaking okay. to, to manage that. I don't want to spend $900 and that's what we can tell that's what the city spent. They say we can borrow theirs, so next time we'll probably arrange to, to use theirs. And we're working on a gavel. All right. We think All right. you should have a gavel. Okay. All right. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we talked about uh, taking the meetings out in the, in the neighborhood. John and I talked about it a little bit. And uh, we're going to handle it a little differently, so we, we won't ask you all to do that. Uh, but one thing I haven't done since I've been here is make myself available. Um, so I feel more comfortable with that now. So if, like if the legal, what do you call it? Legal women voters. Yeah, yeah, legal women voters or anybody else ask uh, us to speak. Uh, either he or I will uh, address that and we'll go out and handle it that way. And uh, those are some general updates. Any questions from the board? Yes, officer. Yes. Report. Moving on to our logo. Yes. Uh, and if you look at page two, there we've been using, uh, and I guess this was intended to be a logo, and you see it's gold and it's gold green, and it's just kind of clumsy. Uh, so trying to get a logo that we can put on everything. Uh, to show more that we're an independent body, uh, to so to really establish our logo, and we can put it beside the city logo at times, but we should. Have, I believe I believe we should have our own logo. So that's what I'm presenting to you. Uh, in the back there, uh, you'll see the latest version of it uh, in the dark, darker blue, and, and I I gave this assignment to Tasker, and. Uh, what she came yeah. up with, and we're open to um, any direction from the board. I like the, I like the, I don't know if you guys did a purpose, the 10 stars, and members of the board, however you guys did it. <laughs> it makes sense, it's three or seven of us and three of you guys, so. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> that was brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> See, those are on each side of, of the just comic yeah. store. It's one of the. Wrong star ethics officer. <laughs> 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 no, I like it now. It's, it's very simple, clean. Well, does anybody have any more comments? It's definitely an improvement. <laughs> yeah. It's something you can just put on any header or any. I move that we accept this logo as our new logo. Second. 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 All those in favor? Aye. 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 As opposed? Passes. Yes, Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Tash. Mm -hmm. Turn around. That's good. Um, agenda item nine ethics training. Every year we do an ethics course for uh, the city. All the employees have to take ethics training. I've been actually working on this particular topic for two years, um, figuring out how I want to deliver it. Uh, and with help from um, William Pace, in particular, Inspector General's office, he helped me conceptualize it, even though he didn't know he was doing that, but he helped me conceptualize it. And then I did a lot of um, literature review online. So if you were to take what's in this course, and Google phrases, you'll see where a lot of this came from. So, you know, I didn't invent what's in here. Uh, this came from research. You know, I um, actually identified research by Florida State on, on part of it. And um, I have a number of people who are in the city who are looking at it and giving me feedback. Mr. Payne has been giving me feedback, which I appreciate. I can always count on him to look at it and give me good feedback. And I look forward to that. Um, I asked John to look at it and give it a legal review. Um, 
just one statute, for example, I missed a number, so he, he corrected that for me and uh, just gave me some things to look at legally in addition to the attorney's office and someone looking at it uh, from their perspective. Uh, and uh, and to city attorney, I mean, Inspector General's office, uh, Tasker actually helped with some of the scenarios, uh, as did other uh, individuals with the city. So that was really good in making it relevant. Um, I'm asking you to adopt the written version uh, because that version can be used for online training or for classroom training. We so don't necessarily have to adopt the online course, but just this material, we adopt it, and then whatever manner we use it to deliver the training, um, you, you'll own it. Question? Yes, sir. Uh, is it correct that the training given to the city commissioners and appointed officials is different than this or um it's a lot of the same um you do it in, in person primarily right yes 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 there there are things though that they have to take uh but we spend an hour i think it was about an hour hour and a half um talking about the, the that scenario or that um incident in in Dixon, Illinois, where the lady stole fifty four million. Um, we built training around that just as we did with this in our share of events. Is there any way we could get for our own identification that we, either the materials that you use for those for the city commission training or maybe a recording of it? You videotape it? Uh, no, we don't videotape it because we want we want them. We don't want them to be liable for anything they say. Um, um, would, would it be inappropriate for you to attend? Uh, I wondered that too. Uh, yeah, I, I think I got some pushback when I suggested that in the past. Yeah. Well, the the main thing is for them to be able to speak freely, um, and. Um, it's interesting group dynamics as it is to be frank. Um, they don't have a curriculum per se because what I can tell you is if you look in the statute, um, 212. 12.313.8. Okay. Okay. So if you look there, um, you'll see where, what the requirement is. And then if you look in the city ordinance, you'll see requirements. So we had to make sure we met all those requirements. And then we added to that. Uh, and we had different people teach different parts. I actually didn't teach any of it. I just facilitated. So with John, Amy, um, and we're in pace um, with the Inspector General's office. Once we identify what we're going to teach, they deliver it so it wasn't, you know, it was their material. Uh, I can see in the future. I can see. I, I don't know what. I haven't figured out what we're going to do next year. I haven't gotten that far yet. But that was a long answer. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll try. Well, I, yeah, I, I think it would be beneficial for the board to, okay. to really be aware of what's going on there. Okay. So next time we'll give you a report for that. <laughs> I can't guarantee you curriculum because I don't know how we're going to do it. I just I, I wondered, would you want to include reference to prohibitions on retaliation? Um, I think you talk about it. Yeah, I do. I do. Um, um, you know, you just volunteer, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a little paragraph you could yeah sure show me. okay yeah sure okay right. <laughs> that's called delegating upwards by the way <laughs> <laughs> okay. and i think that the examples of the, you know when you open up the your discussion mm -hmm. on the videos fantastic because my background is law enforcement mm -hmm. and for me for a city to use their police department mm -hmm. 
I think most of us know that goes on all over the country. More than right. yeah. It's not scrutinized because it's little agencies. Mm -hmm. But I, that just that hits the employees directly. Right. They, you know, if somebody's on the fence mm -hmm. and they see that, they go, man, you know, something can start small and then it snowballs. And next thing you know, you're in the local national news and you're an embarrassment. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was very well done, all the things you did on the Thank you. Thank you. And that city, they almost shut that city down. And then you brought up a city close to my heart, Opalaka. Opalaka. Uh, had tons of problems. And when I worked at FDLE, they were, and they still are. And that was, for me, that was 1990-something. I knew somebody personally who yeah. dethroned. Uh, well, I got a seat on the commission. <laughs> the person that vacated. Yes. yes. So I know what you're talking about. Yes. And, and still in 2020, 20, 22, they're still talking about corruption and that thing. It's still under the Inspector General, isn't it? I think the Inspector General is still. I don't know. Well, state Inspector General is still overseeing all the yeah. processes. Yeah. yeah it and, is. and that's a good example of a culture of accountability. Long term. Yeah. Because, yeah, you know, people try to change it. But um, when you have a culture, a uh, formal culture that's corrupt, um, it's hard to change. So that's, that's what I was trying to show. That's good. You know, I'll make a motion to adopt the written curriculum as you've presented it to us today. Second. Uh, motion second. Any questions, comments on this matter? All in favor? Aye. 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 Proposed. Motion passes. Thank you. Okay. Member discussion regarding items desired for future agenda. We have. We have no breaks of the summer, so let's go straight June. June break in July. Break in July. Yes. Yes. So, so we are, are meeting in June. We are, we aren't meeting in July. We're meeting in June. And then July, everybody gets a break. Yeah, so June twentieth is the next one. Yes. All right. Um, any question? Any one question? Um. I may have missed it. I apologize for being late. Um. But did you ever get with? The city manager about the whistleblower. Yes, we we ran into each other, and so it was. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so <laughs> oh, what do you see? I just need to be in that in that um, <laughs> informal meeting. He gave me a June 14th uh, date. He said he needed to check. Um, so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send them to their agenda for the 14th. Okay, wonderful. Does that mean it'll be on the city commission meeting agenda? Is that what that's, that's, that's the intention, yes. So you'll be there if it is on the agenda or just let them present? I think we should present. Okay. Yes. I'll, I'll get, once it's confirmed, I'll get with you and I'll get with John. Yeah. I'll be, if it's June 14th, I'll be available. So okay. I should be. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. What's the difference between discussion and directives? What is 11 and 12, 10 and 11? So discussions and then how to direct you to do something? Do we need the directives? If you don't have anything, you want to do some directives? I'm not sure. Options to Miss Get a gavel? Miss Rico Cavill. Yeah, I need a gavel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my directive. Yeah. I need a gavel. Um, Thank you. I appreciate it. There's no further business before the board. Ms. Rika moves. We adjourn. Mr. Adam seconds. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you all.